happy Easter, everyone. I'm so glad that we have had this opportunity to walk through the entire Holy Week story together. Today's a big day. We get to have our Easter story, and we're also gonna bake some special Easter treats. So let me light our candle. And let's one more time remember just how special it is that Jesus is always with us. And then let's grab our friend or our sibling or our parent and let's grab their hands and squeeze them really tight. And let's remember that this is a special blessed time to be together. Let's read our story, shall we? This is called the Super Surprise. And our scripture is taken from Mark chapter 16, verses 1 through 7. So if you want to grab your Bible, go ahead and grab it. And then you can compare what the Bible says to what our story says. The super surprise. There was something special about the day. The birds that lived in the trees above the quiet cave knew it. They knew it when they opened their eyes that morning and saw the sunrise. The sun peeked out over the horizon and seemed to wink at the world. Pinks and oranges, yellows and reds flooded the sky. Golden rays reached out like fingers toward the cave and twinkled as if they were holding a secret. The birds could feel an early morning whisper, a song gliding through the trees. And now the birds could hear it, a whisper that got louder as it danced along. It was a name a name carried on the wind, sailing through the leaves, rushing through the grass. The birds perked up and opened their beaks to join the chorus of all creation as every, every living thing sang the name, the name that is above any other name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is alive. The big stone had been moved the cave was empty, the sun was shining. Jesus, king of the whole world, was alive again. The trees clapped their hands, the flowers danced for joy. The birds flew high over the fields and carried the news, the most wonderful news that the world has ever heard. Jesus is alive. And soon, the disciples would know it too. Jesus' mother would know it. One day, everyone in the whole world would know it. And now, you know it too. Okay, isn't that such good news? Now what I wanna do is go upstairs to my kitchen again, and we're gonna bake something really special that's called a resurrection roll. So join me upstairs, and I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, welcome back to the kitchen. I'm getting my apron on again so that I can be a great cook again. And I'm really excited to show you something that I used to do with my siblings when I was young pretty often. We are gonna make something called resurrection biscuits. And let me show you all the things that I have here. So, these are high bee buttermilk biscuits. Any kind of refrigerator biscuits will work just fine. I have some marshmallows. I'll show you what to do with those in a minute. I have some butter that I'm gonna melt in the microwave. And then I have some cinnamon and sugar, which I'm gonna to mix together and we'll use it on the top of our biscuits. So the first thing we're gonna do is open these. And one of our favorite things about refrigerator biscuits is that they make a pop like that. They just pop right open and it's so fun. So we're gonna take our biscuits out and I'm gonna demonstrate with one and then I'm just gonna make them all and I'll show you what to do. So you're gonna take one of your refrigerator biscuits and set it on a clean spot and just kind of squish it a little bit. So see, now my refrigerator biscuit looks like this, all right? Then we're gonna take a marshmallow and these are pretty big marshmallows so I might recommend if you've got big marshmallows like this that you cut it in half. So I'll take half of a marshmallow and set it inside my biscuit 
So see how we've got that guy just sitting there like that? And then you're gonna fold it over like a taco and then squeeze the edges like this. All right, so we're gonna squeeze it shut. And they're called resurrection biscuits because you can kind of pretend that that was Jesus all wrapped up in his bandages and that you just buried him inside of a cave. All right, so then we take our biscuit and I'm gonna spray this just to be sure. Spray it a little bit, put our biscuit on there. I'm gonna take our butter and I'm gonna melt it. Now, for your butter, you can either use, this is just a little brush that you use for sauce and things like that. So you can use something like this, or you can just use a small spoon and just take a little bit of butter and you're gonna drizzle it all over the top of your biscuit. And then I'm gonna mix up a little bit of cinnamon sugar here. And you might even have a container of cinnamon sugar if you like cinnamon toast. Might already have it at home. We don't do a lot of cinnamon toast here, so I don't have that. But you mix that up however you like it. There's really not a big recipe situation going on here. But mix it up. And then I'm gonna get my butter out of the microwave. There's my butter right there. And now I'm just gonna put butter on top like that. And then take a little bit of cinnamon sugar, and it doesn't take very much, and just sprinkle it on top. So now I've got one made. And I'm going to take a couple of minutes here and I'm gonna make all of them. So you could take a couple of minutes and you can make all of yours as well, okay? helped me for a little bit. These really are super fun to make as a group. So now I'm gonna pop these in the oven. The oven is set at 400 degrees and let's see how long they cook for. They cook for 10 to 13 minutes. All right, so now we have our resurrection biscuits all baked and this is what they look like. Now anytime we work with food and we compare it to a Bible story, it's important to recognize that at some point it's just an example, because now we're gonna look at this as though it's part of the Easter Bible story. So, we took our biscuit dough and we put a marshmallow inside it, and we kind of pretended like it was Jesus all wrapped up and he was getting put into the cave. Now, look, here's our biscuit. <gasps> and if we open up our cave, there's nothing inside. And so it is just like Jesus was resurrected. And the great thing about this particular way to tell a Bible story is it's delicious when you get to eat it. So I hope you all have a great Easter and we'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed our yummy resurrection rolls. Now I'd like to close just like we have every other time with our love letter from God. And I hope that you have time to color your own love letter from God as well. Today, I'm going to use Miss Suzanne for our love letter name. Dear Miss Suzanne, can you believe that my son Jesus came back to life? Only the king of the world could do that. Jesus is the king of love, the king of hope, the king of heaven, and he wants to be the king of your life too. Thank you from God.
friends, thank you for spending so much time this week going over all of the Holy Week stories. I hope it's been fun for you and your families. It's certainly been meaningful for me. And now, I'll see you next week. Miss you. Bye-bye. Happy Easter, everybody.